Hi, my name is Steve Dennison. I'm a uh, builder and home renovator. And this is a series of videos we're doing about our house. Uh, we have, my wife and I have four children. So this is our house after two years, uh, our house that we built two years ago um, in Port Elgin, Ontario. And this is our mechanical room. Um, one regret in my mechanical room is that we didn't finish all the walls before we did anything and I should have done that. So uh, our house, even though there's gas in front of the street, we didn't choose to connect gas, uh, natural gas. So all of our uh, heating, cooling, hot water is done with electricity. So we have over here our hot water tank. So that is a hybrid um, hot water tank. So it's an air source heat pump at the top. Uh, this is the exhaust for the heat pump. And then it's a standard electric hot water tank. Um, we have our heat drain recovery pipe here. So it takes water from the shower, hot water from the, uh, from the drain of the shower and heats our water so that it enters and it's working right now as the toilet flushes and it enters the tank and preheats the water for you. Uh, fairly common where we live in Port Elgin to, uh, to use one of these devices. Um, this device is not very common. Most, uh, most heating is done by gas, uh, but we find this works uh, very well uh, for us. Okay. We have a very standard electrical panel. The only thing we did different is we have a shutoff um, before our electrical panel so that when we put our solar panels on the house, hopefully next spring, uh, that we don't have to uh, do a hard shut off with the utility at the street. We can just shut the power off here, wire in our inverter, uh, etc., cetera, and, uh, and go from there. Now, this is my Zender ERV uh, that provides fresh air to the house. Uh, so this is a German product um, that, uh, that we use. We use the Zender ERV because it is uh, ultra efficient. It is efficient as we can get uh, for an ERV. Um, so the ERV provides, provides fresh air to the house it brings in it brings in fresh air and mixes it with the air from the house and, and exhausts it out and as it does that it captures the heat or or the cold if you're cooling in the summer we don't really cool in the summer that much and it also uh, captures some moisture so it preheats and pre uh, moistens or dries depending on the conditions uh, outside and inside of the house uh, it's a really easy uh, piece to maintain. There's a couple filters that you have to clean. And that's it. Now, if my cameraman can look up here, this is the preheat for the ERV. So uh, we live, you can say in Port Elgin, so it can get to minus minus 20, minus 30 degrees Celsius at night. So even though we have an efficient ERV, uh, we still need uh, to preheat that air so that it's uh, not uncomfortable uh, in the house uh, as we distribute that air throughout the house. Now our primary heat source in the house is three ductless head mini splits. We use uh, Mitsubishi Mr. Slims. Uh, we have one in the basement, one in the main floor, and one in the upstairs. And those provide all the heating and cooling uh, for the house. And we have about uh, 20,000 BTUs uh, capacity uh, for the mini splits. Um, they're super efficient uh, in, the, uh, in the spring and fall, and they, work, they do work really well in the winter. Uh, down to minus 20, minus 26, they're still providing uh, a better than uh, better than electric resistant heat. So, uh, so far we've been uh, super happy with them. 
and we would use them again for sure. So, so basically the uh, mini splits, we don't, uh, uh, they do do cooling and because they're an air source heat pump, they do cooling and we, we have used them uh, a couple times. I think this summer we used them twice um, when it was like 30 degrees uh, and, and humid. Mostly we would just use them at night to try and get a little bit of the humidity in, uh, in the house out. Uh, other than that, we use them just for heating, um, and uh, and and they've worked they've worked great. Um, and some people, because our house is built to uh, to to the passive house standard, um, and, and it's it's a twenty four hundred square foot house uh, with a with a f almost finished basement. So there's uh, there's almost thirty five hundred square feet of of heated space. In the house but uh, the point source having just three point source systems works fine because we have the ERV system that we were talking about earlier distributing the air continuously around the house so even though the heat's only getting dumped uh, at three three spots the uh, fresh air uh, exhausts from the ERV are distributing the heat throughout the rest of the house and because it's an efficient airtight house uh, we don't have a lot of cold spots to worry about. So thanks for watching this portion of our video. Any questions, you can reach us at denisonhomes.ca uh, to find more information about what we do.